At St. David's North, it was Taco Thursday, a change-up served up by Tom Ramsey. He owns the Taco Man food trailer business. We uh, all teamed up and we got ready and we said, no, no, we're going we're gonna to have to get outside the box and figure out a way to uh, make a difference. Ramsey and his crew went to the hospital to deliver 150 meals to hospital personnel. That job is keeping his business open, his employees working, and plans to expand to other hospitals in play. There's no way that I'm going to just step down. I'm going to step up. This taco delivery is financed by Rebecca Contreras, who owns an IT company, and her husband, who runs a local nonprofit. So we called him up and said, hey, we'd like to keep your employees working. Uh, you know, can we pay you? And he was actually going to give us a discount, and we said, no, we want to pay you full price because we want you to pay your team full price. While lunch was served at the hospital, Robert Gonzalez was working on another delivery for medical teams. Up until a week ago, he made window tent and sound systems. But that all changed after he got a call to help make protective face shields. It's part of a nationwide effort by others in his industry. Once they found something that we can do and keep our hands busy doing, it's, we jumped right in and said, you know, let's do as many as we can. His equipment has already produced more than 50 shields. Another 1,500 are in the pipeline. A GoFundMe site has been set up to help offset the cost. Some of the shields have been sent as far away as New York. At this point, it's an assembly line. What, what feels really, really good is when they get into the hands of people. You can't, you can't explain that feeling. I mean, it's humbling. It makes you want to cry. Several face shields were picked up Thursday by Roger Ferris. He has family members working in local hospitals, and having them now in hand means a lot. It's a little more comfort that, uh, that they're, they'll be protected, and by them being protected, their children, and we interact with them, we'll be more protected also. This piece of equipment is another example of medical innovation. It's a modified ventilator built by UT engineers. It's special because it's powered by a windshield wiper motor taken from a Toyota Camry. The device is currently undergoing testing with plans to allow anyone to use the design to make low-cost ventilators. This and the other innovations are examples of how solutions can be found. An accomplishment that's pretty special for Julie Ferris. In a way, it is surprising, but it's, it's, it's a good surprise to see people stepping up this way.